Hello everyone, my name is Guan. I'm the co-founder of Untangle Finance. And today I would like to talk about why RWA DeFi needs credit oracles and which st stable coins will be packed. Hopefully through the presentation, you'll see how these two sort of parts of the titles are connected. Before I go, I would like to say thank you very much for inviting us to speak at your event today as and hopefully we can contribute to the discussion of the type of infrastructure that will be needed for decentralized finance within rwa to go First of all, about Untangled Finance, we built Untangled on the conviction that much of the RWA financing will be tokenized, requiring a robust credit infrastructure to scale. And with this in mind, we built two products one is the on-chain securitization that allows any issuers to be able to tokenize their RWA assets, collateral, to become uh, to borrow money from decentralized finance. Untangle protocol has been deployed uh, on the Sailor blockchain. The second uh, product that we work on is Credio.network which is a decentralized credit infrastructure, uh, Oracle, which uh, will be the topic of the presentation today. So we work with a number of, of uh, institutions, including Fasanara, which is our institutional asset manager. Fasanara actually has a network of 140 asset originators in 65 uh, countries around the world. As mentioned, we work with um, Celo, but soon we're also deploying on the Polygon blockchain. Most of the RWA DeFi is credit. What I mean by that is if you look at uh, the volume, the TVL of RWA DeFi today, in fact, of DeFi today, then most of that com comprise of stable coins. And most stable coins are actually fiat or RWA back in the case of USDT, USDC. And obviously in the case of DAI, then it can be backed by both RWA, but also other type of native tokens. Now, stable coins are credit you make to a centralized party in the case of USDT, USDC, are the issuers of these tokens or to yourself. But it's a credit that you make. Now, you may not uh, earn anything from lending to a uh, USDT issuer because you need to have the token to transact on chain. So the utility is the value you're after. But if you are borrowing money from yourself using DAI or uh, MakerDAO or DAI protocol, then you have to pay stability fees or interest rate. So stable coins are credit that you make. Tokenized money market funds are also credit that you make to a centralized party, uh, but they are backed by US treasuries or tokenized money markets. And within this space, there are three main players. The BlackRock got a builder product. Franklin Templeton got Benji and Ondo got USG and USDY. Together, they uh, have recently crossed $2 billion worth of TBL. And this might seem to be a small amount when you compare to someone like BlackRock, which managed over $10 trillion worth of assets. But it's a major step among the top financial institutions going into blockchain. And all of this started at the beginning of this year. So, but the value of the collateral will determine whether or not these uh, credits that you make will be, be repaid. Um, so in the case of tokenized market funds, obviously is the underlying market funds and the US treasuries. On-chain lending obviously is credit, but in this case you make via a marketplace like Untangled, which is on Celo, but also there are protocols like Central, um, Centrifuge and Maple and many other lending protocols on chain based on RWA. Now, if you look at protocols like Aave, Compound, and Mofo, 
you see that um, they manage the credit risk very well. And this is a automated mechanism that determine the health factor to managing the loan to value ratio or LTV, which is a um, ratio between the borrow amount and the collateral value. Now, if the collateral value drops to a certain level, like in the case of um, um, number two here, uh, below the liquidation threshold, then either the borrower has to repay, like right here, to bring the collateral ratio back to the required level, or the collateral will be automatically liquidated uh, or auctioned um, at a discounted price so that the proceeds can be used to repay um, the loan and bring the loan to value ratio back to the level that is safe, right? So this is what happened within the lending protocols that use crypto or native tokens to be collateral. Now within DeFi RWA, there's nothing like that. There's no liquidation market for RWA collaterals or a credit oracles that inform their price. Now this have contributed to uh, the depegging events that we've seen within, within the stable coins. And obviously among the private credit protocols, there's also significant losses. We'll go into further details among the um, depegging events uh, from our studies. Now, therefore credit oracle is needed for RWA DeFi to scale. Now within Charfi or traditional finance, RWA credit price are provided by credit rating agencies. However, increasingly with data availability of the blockchain and the AI technology, this, this enable anyone to build machine learning models to predict the credit price or the uh, default probabilities of RWA. The question is how you can do this uh, in a uh, decentralized manner, uh, automated through smart contract, but also preserving the privacy of those machine learning models. So we introduced Credio, which is a um, protocol that sits between machine learning models and decentralized ap applications. It's a credit oracle. And with Credio, we make credit worthiness become more programmable. And how we do that is through acting as automated risk manager, the credit pricing for machine learning based model can then be fed directly to smart contracts of decentralized finance. It's decentralized, so not just uh, the Credio team who builds the the models, the machine learning models, like what you'll see in the depegging models later, but also a community of rating agencies and data scientists. The key thing here is how to encourage the participation is to preserve the privacy of those models because no one wants to release their intellectual properties by providing the uh, secret in terms of how the model model works. And this is where we use zero knowledge proof and we'll go into that a bit later. So at its heart, Credio adds machine learning capabilities to define and allow anyone to build bespoke models addressing many of the blockchain use cases, including the RWA use cases, such as if and when a stablecoin will depict, what is the value of a collaterals in a RWA lending pool, for example, Untangled, and how a credit rating be securely provided on chain? How can lending, lending pool parameters be automatically updated given new signals? And then how do you construct and optimize RWA portfolios and how to rebalance the portfolios when the uh, data changes. 
So these are some of the use cases that can uh, be readily um, provided um, by machine learning models and be fed, the results of which can be fed directly on chain through Credio. So now turning to the first question of use cases, which stablecoin will depict? Now, as mentioned before, stablecoins are the major use case within DeFi, not just DeFi and RWA. Because money is credit, and we already established that stablecoin is credit. 90% of RWA is actually stablecoin, but reality is they are not very stable. As on the, uh, the chart on the right-hand side at the bottom, you'll see that these are the 20 stablecoins that we track. And their depicting events uh, range from, uh, this is ranked by their depicting event. So some of the stable coins like GHO and uh, USDE uh, never have a depict event, uh, but they also have a very limited history. Um, so the green line is how many records that um, they have. These are relatively new stable coins. But there are some other stable coins that are depicting very, very often. And we'll go into um, the model of how we can predict the depicting events. So using Credio, we're developing a service that predicts which stablecoin will depict within the next 24 hours. So the results of the model have been plotted against the actual depicting event. Um, this is an exercise called backtesting. So you can see here that the blue and the green lines the, representing the uh, predicted depicts and the actual depicts, they are closely aligned or closely follow each other, but they are not exactly the same. Because with any model, there's a de degree of inaccuracy. So the accuracy of this model is more than 90%, but with data and over time with more training, we can um, certainly improve the accuracy of the model. And the result of the model can be consumed directly on chain. Uh, like anyone can go to a um, blockchain explorer like Siloscan in this case to query whether or not a stablecoin is going to depict within the next 24 hours, according to our model, obviously. So one representing depict and zero representing no depict. So if you put in the stablecoin index or the number representing the stablecoin, then you'll see the result, where either zero or one. Or it can be consumed via a web app or an API. So in this case, the model has been uh, more conservative. So predicting three DPEGs, but in fact, there was only two DPEGs. Uh, this is uh, on the 22nd of August. So every day, if you go to this link, you'll be able to see which stablecoin will DPEG um, according to our model. Now, anyone can uh, prove that these uh, inferences or the output actually come from a reliable model. So let's say if you have a rating agencies publishing their credit rating on chain, the question from the user is that, how do I know that the credit rating actually coming from the trusted rating agencies, the model that they have uh, approved? So with zero knowledge proof, this can be done mathematically. So if you are more interested in um, this technology and how we actually incorporate that, please uh, visit our website where we and our documentation and we'll have a lot more details how this actually works. So as mentioned before, that um, the inferences of the model output not only be consumed or be used at one point in time, but through a automated data warehouse, continuously getting new data and being fed through um, to the models. And when the um, output is more than a certain uh, threshold, then the result will then be automatically, automatically updated on chain. So this is where uh, Credio can actually be used to provide automatic update of on-chain lending uh, um, risk parameters but also use cases such as rebalancing a portfolio of on-chain assets. 
So the key takeaway for the talk today is most of the RWA uh, defined is credit or credit based. And all on-chain credit requires accurate pricing or uh, Oracle. And at the moment, there are no on-chain secondary market or liquidation market for RWA, nor the pricing for the RWA collateral. Machine learning can actually help fair value or providing the prices for this uh, risk. However, the challenge is how can that be done on an automated decentralized and privacy preserving manner. And Credio is an Oracle infrastructure that combines machine learning and blockchain to solve the most pressing issues within DeFi and DeFi RWA today. And many other use cases can be built on Credio. The question is, what will you build? So with that, I would like to conclude our talk today. Thank you very much again for inviting us to your event. And if you want to get further information, you can uh, follow the links at the bottom of this presentation. Thank you very much and have a wonderful conference. Bye-bye.